deep like the ocean You set me free, my heart is open You gave me life, you gave me purpose You make me dance cause joy comes in the morning Well, let's get into seasons Yes Um, Your video is out now Yes Um, Tell us a little bit about that one who actually uh, seasons was a really interesting song to write because it was the first time I had always written my so a lot of the songs in the CD had been written like three four or five six years ago That's, wow. it's crazy it was a whole journey of my healing right so um and so seasons has one that was written in like recently you know um, so and also it was one that i that actually wrote with with other people so that was the first time i okay. ever did something like that so it was written with um deandre shout out deandre and shout out will so with will's a producer so um we were in the room and we were just trying to figure out things and I remember like DeAndre, he's like, what the hell does he like? He's probably 17, 16, I don't know. He's like, yeah. Oh my he's goodness, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, and he had like this whole book of lyrics and he's like, well, I can lend my lyrics. And I was oh. like, <laughs> you know, and it was it was just like an experience for me because I have always done things solo. So it's just even a stretching for uh. me to be like, to be like, like humbling myself of like my words, my lyrics, my experience. This is not the way I usually write. I write when I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right when it I'm won't crying. be good it's, unless it's I'm me. Crying. And this is, yeah, it's me and Jesus just <laughs> crying together. And this is how I write. Yeah. But like, it's just a different season. And so it's just like in the studio. So that was written in the studio with oh. some of my lyrics, some of his lyrics, some of everybody's. Every, and I don't even remember whose or whose lyrics anymore at this point. I do remember mine had something to do with the roots because I remember that's what I like. The Lord was ministering to me a lot about roots. Yes, um, that part right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, so that that um, it just all came about, and uh, I think it was written probably in a day. Oh, okay. I think it was written like in a day. Yeah. So the music video is out. So yes. hopefully you guys get to go watch it. And let it's me know your thoughts. Down below. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So the music video. Um, I wanted to do something different. So it's it is it's uh, it's a uh, it's an animation. And um, yeah, the storyline is is very different. I know it's not gonna be for everybody because I know, like, I showed it to like somebody, and they're just like, "That's weird. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool, but it's weird." Yeah. And like other people are like, "You know, I like it. It's like really cool." And like one of my friends like showed it, or one of my mentors showed it to so her kids, and their kids are like, "Oh, that's cool. When's the next episode coming?" Oh! Up? <laughs> that was so funny. Like, <laughs> that was so cute. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's um. Yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm like I'm just so blessed to see people's responses to the the whole album and the songs and and I know like Seasons is one that a lot of people have also said like yeah, that's like my song. Yeah. Like because it is about like prophesying. It's really and it is about like the journey of like there's it's it's labeled the song says Seasons um but like a lot of it says season, it's my season, season, but like the the title itself is seasons. And so it is about like the journey is not just one season. Right. It's like you have many and all yeah. of them are needed right. to get to the next, yes. you know. So um, that's as much as I'm going to say there. Go watch the video and see <laughs> the storyline for yourself of what yeah. you think of it. Yeah. Um, what advice do you have for all the single ladies out there? <laughs> Here's some. I know, right? Um, and single gentlemen, because, you know, I'm sure they're there too. Um, what do you have, what advice do you have for us single people out Oh my there? gosh, that is such... <laughs> you, oh, okay. you did say, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, well, I was just saying, like, it's something that we will never get back. Mm. It's something that, even though I hate it at times, mm -hmm. and I have my, I throw my fits, yeah. but... It's something that we must be so grateful for this. Mm. And um, because we will never, ever get it back. Yeah. Like, we will never get it back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that our significant others will be praising the Lord. Right. For him dealing with what we don't want to deal with. Well, we don't want we don't want to deal with Come the on. stuff that they're going to, they need healing from. We don't want to deal with it. Yeah. They don't want to deal with our garbage either. <laughs> right, right, right. No, I think that's one of the best things you can do um, for yourself first is 
is is work on you like really like not just do it because you want to be married but do it because you want to be happy yes like honestly for you not for, for them. you like and yeah. for the Lord, you know, it's like yeah. really just it, this time is so precious to like really um, give, be the best version of yourself, strive to be the best version of yourself in every area. And so when that time does come, like you are presenting some of the best version of yourself and then you'll continue to grow with that other person. But you've done so much of the work, you know, already. And I think because, and that's something that I thank the Lord for, even though it's like, it's been difficult years, you know, there's been moments where it was not going to lie super lonely for me and super mm -hmm. painful. Like I've known like where it's so lonely that it's super painful, like, you know? Um, yeah. But thank God, like God has like really healed a lot of that. And, and like, he's given me the grace in this season. Um, but I just remember just like thinking, saying my, 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 I lost my train of thought. I was going somewhere and it got <laughs> derailed. But um, basically like giving, like allowing yourself to just, um, oh, that, that's where I was going. Um, like just thanking God for his timing truly. I know, I know this is like everybody, every single is like, oh, you're going to tell me everything is beautiful and it's time. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> It's so cliche, but it's so true. Like yeah. everything truly is beautiful in its time. Yes. And um, and we sometimes hate that when we're in that, like, when we want to see it now. Right. You know. But you know what? Then patience. we're not. Isn't what's is the first thing of love though? Isn't love patient? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. So it's like, and God would like had been teaching me that too. It's like, you're not even gonna even if I give you it's. So one time, like, I just felt like the Lord was revealing things to me where I was like, thank you, God, for not giving my husband to me right now. Because I feel like if you would have given him to me, like, seasons ago, like, it would have just been bad. Mm -hmm. Like, I would have put hurt that man, like, so much. Like, horrible, you know? Yeah. And so, because there was, I didn't realize, like, so God had done so much work inside of me that I got to see, I got to see how much I was lacking grace in men. Like, just being so hard on the guys kind of coming off a bit entitled to things, you know, like it was a whole mess. And so like, it's like, they didn't deserve that. Like, and so I just, I just saw how God's timing truly is beautiful. It's like, God, thank you because you love me so much that you want to answer my prayer that I made when I was like 17, that I wanted to, you know, wait on my husband and that I wanted to be beautiful and I wanted to be, you know, all that stuff. It's like you're you're you listened to that 17 year old prayer and you've held me all these years and not allowed me to settle mm -hmm. you know and like there's times when you don't realize but he's hiding us yeah you know like there's yeah. there's a season where he's hiding and there's a season where he's blocking people mm -hmm. and I remember like like I've seen that so many times where I remember one of my like one of my like guy friends like he's married now and he was like telling me like, dude, this one time you were in a concert and one of my homeboys were, was like, I want to meet her, da, 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 da. And he was like, nope, you ain't going to meet you ain't going to get near her. Because I, and I was like, no way, for real? He's like, yeah, because I knew his intentions weren't right. Right. And so he didn't even allow, like, so my friend didn't allow his friend to approach me. And I was like, imagine God. Yes. Yeah. Imagine God. I because... have one of those. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like God does that to people. Yeah. I feel like, and, and, and that's going to be life. Like, especially if I feel like if you have a calling of your daughter, like he's just not going to allow just any person to come around, you know, like, um, and so a lot of times when we feel like, Oh my God! Why does nobody like? Oh, it seems like nobody's looking at me. It right. seems like what's nobody's, wrong with me? Am I what's wrong with me? It's like no, nothing's wrong yeah. with you, sis. Like actually, you're pretty great. Yeah. And you actually should thank the guys that are have not approached you because a lot of times, actually, me they might do that because they actually do care for you. Yeah. But um, but regardless, I just I think like just knowing the season that God has you in and being faithful in that season is so important. Um, and like I just remember just that revelation of God. Like you are so like your timing, your ways are so 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 beautiful beyond like what I could imagine. That you're allowing me to deal with things within myself to renew my mind about things because when that person does come, this person is I don't know who this person is, but he's amazing. Let me tell you that I don't know who you are, bro, but oof, you got it going on. Yeah. That's all I know. That's all I know. And so, um, and so I'm just like. 
like and I, I don't want to hurt that heart. Right. Like, I don't, oh right. my God, he's your son. Like, right. I don't want to hurt his heart like that. Yeah. You know, so it's like, thank you for working with on me. You know, yeah. thank you because you actually want our marriage to be beautiful and healthy. You actually want us to have a beautiful, healthy relationship. So it's like, stay, you know, work on you, do your thing, you know, like continue to heal, continue to grow and like let him do his thing. Continue. Him. And in his timing, he's going to be, and this is the last advice I'm going to leave, leave you with. And this is something that the Lord has really, really like pressed within me. And that's what I follow right now to this day is um, to let go. Um, so that the, I was like, when that God is like bringing when God, when something's from God, it's not going to feel like you're striving, you're forcing, or you're trying to convince. Right. It's going to honestly flow. It's going to be like, as you're drawing closer to God, like it, like, it's like, you can't get away from it. It's actually feelings grow stronger. You know, like you feel more connected. Your purposes are aligning. You know what I mean? And so it's like, if you're in a place where you're, maybe there's people around and they're, you're not sure or like what, what the case is. Like I, all I know for me is that God had told me to let go, like let go and, and, and seek first the kingdom, Matthew, right? Seek first the kingdom and all things will be added. Trust me. Like he put it so strongly in my spirit, like seek first the kingdom, do what I'm calling you to do. And trust me, you're going to turn around and be like, how the heck does this even happen? Because for so many seasons in my life, I feel like I was like, like I said, like the the people that I was like really into, like for some reason it just didn't work. So I just felt like this, all this anxiety a lot of times, like always overthinking. It's like, wait, what? And like, you know, all these things. And so God's like, that's not you no more. Like you're going to sit and you're going to rest and you're going to receive and trust me, it'll come. The word of God in Genesis says that the Lord brought the woman to the man. Right. He brought the woman to the man. The man saw the woman, recognized it was his. He's like, <laughs> you're flesh of my flesh, bones of my bone. Like, let's do this, you yeah. know? Yeah. So it was one of those things. And so I'm like, okay, that's how it's going to be. Mm-hmm. So for, for, for the singles out there, like, if you ever find yourself in a place, you might meet someone that's great and that has a lot of things going on for themselves but if it's if you're starting to like this is for me for like take it for you if you feel this is from the lord but um because i know everybody's love story is different but i know for me what god has told me it's like it's not it's not to feel like you're striving Mm it's not to feel like you're 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 chasing you're not convincing you're not forcing like it's just gonna be like Super, you know, not, super that natural. doesn't mean that you're not going to, like, you're going to just be, like, with your Bible, like, I'm not looking at any right. guy. I'm not, like, talking to any guy. God, you're going to bring him, like, down. You know, like, no, do not do that either. Like, be yeah. friendly. Be yourself. That's why it's, like, have fun in this season. Like, right. Have fun in this season. You're single. Like, have fun. Go see how you, what does God want for your life? Like, explore. Get to know yourself. Like, there's so much of myself that I've gotten to know these last few years. I was like, whoa, I didn't I didn't realize how much I really like this. I didn't realize how much I really enjoyed this. You know, it's just like, and something that also I've learned ever since I've hit 30 is to like do something off my bucket list. Because mm. a lot of times people wait till they have a relationship. Oh, I want to experience this with like my right. boo thing. You know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know if he'll ever come. Like, I mean, God and I have had conversations and he has promised that season right. for, for my life and yeah. it's coming. But I'm like, I'm not depending on it. I'm no, just, but <laughs> yeah. So, so, but just like doing things for yourself. Like I, I took myself one time to like a hot air balloon ride, you know? And I took like with my sister, we went like, come on. On, let's go do this like like I took myself to a trip I've been wanting to go forever like for my birthday this last summer it was amazing it was like the oh, best wow. thing and it's like go and do those things you know um and then as you're doing those things as you're pursuing God's heart like as you're letting go and like just not trying to force anything not trying to like you're just you're just you're just receiving and you're just responding and like just because to me girl like I was such an overthinker that when even my therapist at that point, I don't do therapy anymore, but at that therapist at that point was like, why don't you just let things organically happen? I was like, how do you, <laughs> how does that work? Cause I would overthink everything. Everything was ridiculous. Okay. So for those that know me, how is a very important question in my life. Mm. Cause people say a lot of things mm. on what to do, what mm-hmm. not to do, mm-hmm. but they never say, 
how to do it. Right. And um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what, like, that's the thing, like, oh. healing yourself, like, bringing, being in that place of healing and freedom, it brings a lot of freedom. So, like, you're not, like, whenever you're overthinking, you're stopping yourself from being who you really are. So, of course, you're not going to allow that person to really see who you really are. So, it's like, just be who you really are. Like, just, and it's it's easy to say, be who you really are. Because I remember one of my guy friends would tell me, too, like, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Stop doing that. And I'm just like, if I knew <laughs> not do that, if I knew how to stop, I would do it. It is not that simple. It's yeah. because there was, there were strongholds that needed to be broken. There was, like, wounds inside that needed to be healed. And so, when that finally got dealt with that, I felt the freedom mm -hmm. and I realized whatever is is uh, whatever is coming attached with worry or with fear not from the Lord right when it's when it's peaceful when it's naturally flowing that's do that so it's like responding like if someone's like hey let's go out before a girl I would overthink that it'd be like wait is he asking me how's this a date wait is this a person for me should I even say yes should I even say like no like girl <laughs> I'm telling you it was horrible so now it's like let's go out I'm like if, if, if like whatever comes naturally like that's what I would respond yeah cool let's do it or like eh, I don't know <laughs> like you know that's not. or just like but you know but I'm, I'm in a place where I'm like just open yeah of like where yeah so but the thing is like like, okay, probably edit that. People are going to be like, let me ask her out. <laughs> she's open, guys. She's open. She's open for business. <laughs> I say, I say yes to everybody, first of all. Take a number. <laughs> <laughs> the things that come out. Mm. <laughs> Please edit some of this. <laughs> some of yeah. these people, oh my God. <clears throat> Um, something though, uh, also that I want to add with that, yeah. um, is that a lot of times when we're not being ourselves, yeah. we're someone that we're, we're trying to impress because that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to impress that person. Mm -hmm. Guess what? That's not you. <laughs> that person that's trying to impress the, the other is, it's not you. Yeah. And so when things get, um, more serious yeah. and you get comfortable in the relationship, they're like, what happened? They Who start wondering <laughs> what, what happened to the person that I, yeah. I fell in love with or whatever it is. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> but you know what? Talking about that, it is so... That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, it starts there. I know I'm going to go back. But it really is about healing. Your, because yes. when you love yourself, you ex ac accept yourself. And then you're not like, hey, this is me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm random, silly. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a bit of a weirdo. Like, that's just me. Like, I'm a bit like of a dork. That's me. Like, I love cheesy, corny jokes and stuff. Like, um, like not all the time, but yeah, some of them I do, you know? And I'm like, or I'll make them because I think they're ridiculously funny. And it's like, that's me. Like, who cares? You don't like it? All right. Whoever's the person for me will. Like, we're right. going to just fit. You can't be like like Cinderella's sister is trying to like, fit right. the shoe. And it's not for you. It's not for you. Yeah. And so it's like, but it's like when you learn to love and accept all of you like all the pieces that god made you to be and really let that shine then you start to attract the people that are for you and that and the relationship also comes in that line yeah and i think that's what also helped me in my ministry too is that there's so many people that saw things in me and i didn't see them for myself like i i wanted to but i was like i didn't really completely believe it and then when god did so much in my life where i came to i was like i believe this thing like and then once you believe it, it's just a game changer. Right. So it's like, yeah, being naturally yourself, like, yeah, just like a friend. And then another thing too that has been helpful is just kind of like, why you, why we put so much pressure? You know what I mean? Why we put so much pressure on, on, on people? It's like, hmm. get to know, like, friends. Yeah. You're just friends. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's not like, that's like, they're not asking you to marry you, you know? Right. But it's funny, my overthinking self, that's the way it was. It, I reacted like if they were asking me to marry them. Like for real. That's why I was like, oh. it was crazy, girl. It was, it's like so much freedom now. I think we're gonna have to close with a prayer to yeah. break break some strongholds today. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> but um, I think listen you so to heart much. surgery. Yes, <laughs> listen to heart surgery. You guys will not regret it. I'm Thank telling you. you. That album, um, I think, and another song that we didn't really talk about is Lullaby. Mm. My, at the top of my lungs, in my car, okay? Aww. But I think um, something that's so special about it is um, 
it's as if God is sinking it to you. Yes. When it's someone that the anointing is there, you don't even hear the person. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, I don't hear you. Like, I don't hear you. I hear God telling mm-hmm. me that directly. It's beautiful. So um, I love that song. I love it. I love it. I love the entire album. You guys really do need to check it out. Thank and you. I thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you so much. And I'm so glad that the Lord connected us. Yes. It's amazing. Me too. Me too. Um, but I would appreciate if you close yes. us out of here. Yes. Of course. You. <clears throat> you need to break chains today. No, for real. <laughs> Father God. Oh, God, you're so good. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Father God, we're just so grateful. We're so grateful for these moments that we get to just be ourselves and laugh. And at the same time, like just testify of your goodness, testify of your love, of your glory, of what you do, my God. You do amazing things. Father God, we're just so grateful for you, Lord. We're so grateful for this opportunity that we get to come before you, Lord. And I just pray for those that are watching right now. I don't know them, but you do, Father. You know who is watching right now. You know who is has been listening. Lord, you know who has been touched by, by the things we've been saying, Lord. And it's not me and it's not Karina. It's you. They're hearing your voice through our testimonies, through the things that we're saying, because you are after their heart. You are after their heart, God. Lord God, I, I I pray for that one, Lord, for the one that thinks, Lord God, that you've left them, for the one that 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 has stopped trusting your heart and is looking for a way back, Father God. I pray that you bring prodigals back. I pray that you bring restoration. I pray, Lord, that you transform minds in Jesus' name and hearts in Jesus' name. I pray against every argument that would stand up against the knowledge of Christ. In Jesus' name, everything that is blocking, everything that is a wall, in Jesus' name, we break that. I declare you break through that in Jesus' name, just like you've broken through so many of my walls and so many of my questions, Lord God, and that you've taught me to trust you in the most difficult seasons, in the most uncomfortable places. God, you've taught me to trust your heart. You've taught me and you've shown me who you are and your character that you're so good and you're so amazing father and you have experienced your grace in such an amazing way and your love in incredible ways and i pray the same for the ones listening today father in jesus name i pray that they would be flooded by your grace they'd be flooded by your love that you would be overwhelmed by you father god that they would feel the pursuit of you in their lives father in jesus name and we just come against the strongholds we've been talking about trauma we've been talking about fear of overthinking and anxiety and in jesus mighty name i come against a stronghold of anxiety of fear a fear of missing out a fear of making a mistake in jesus name a fear of rejection a fear of abandonment i rebuke you in jesus name i bind the arguments i bind the stronghold of fear in jesus name no more no more for you have given us a spirit of love and a sound mind of power and a sound mind in jesus name father god i declare lord your truth of who they are they are loved they are chosen they are worthy lord um they are accepted in in you jesus um and that your love can go deeper 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 into the root yes. into the wounds yes. to bring that healing to bring the freedom to bring Jesus. the water whatever has been stuck lord whatever has been stuck in the in and in, in, in keeping them in cycles keeping them in patterns yes. to not proceed i rebuke that jesus and i just declare lord that in them will flow rivers of living water joy god instead of mourning and ashes father god a new season a favor of the Lord God of a garment of praise to be placed upon them father in Jesus name where you begin to bring a spirit of adventure in you my God in Jesus name and I pray Lord God your blessing over them and your peace over them and I pray a blessing over Karina as well God I thank you for her willingness to obey you her willingness to just listen to where you're guiding her where you're guiding her though it's uncomfortable I pray that you would finish the work that you start in her life that you bless this channel Father God and that you bless the people watching it in Jesus mighty name we thank you and we just love you God
Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Praise God. Oh, it's a pleasure. Wait. Sorry, I have these things. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you, and I hope it's not the last time. I hope we yeah. have you on again. I'm sure. I love it. Let us know if you guys want to see Jacko back on the channel. <laughs> I spoke a lot. <laughs> Oh, it's great. <laughs> I can go on and on. Yeah. Um, but yes, so thank you so much. And thank you guys for watching. Um, please, again, just like, share, comment, subscribe, share, share, and share. Yes. And all right, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Okay.